Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on blood bank management system. In the previous episode, we have successfully designed form for our user module. And in this episode, we will create business logic layer for our user module. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So first of all, let's open our project. So I'll go to my project folder, which is blood bank management system and then double click on blood bank management system solution file so i'll just double click on this file and it will open our project on visual studio currently i'm using visual studio 2015 uh, you can use any version of microsoft visual studio so this was the form we have designed in the previous episode for now we don't need uh, this so i'll just close it close this close this close this and let us close this as well so let's go to the solution explorer and we need to create a separate folder so that we can manage our file so i'll go to the project here and right click on my project and go to add and click on new folders and i will uh, give its name as bll short form for business logic layer and press enter and here we will create our business logic layer for user module so right click on bll folder and add a new item so here we will select a class and give the name in this section so double click here or select all and give a name so this is a business logic layer for user module so its name will be user and bll so and then click on add so this will be the business logic layer for our user module it will contain getter and setter for different uh, columns in database let us look at the user table for our blood bank management system so i'll go to data source sorry in server explorer and go to blood bank management system and tables and we have tbl users so we have user id username email password full name contact address add date and image name so we'll have to create getter and setter in our business logic layer for all of these columns so let us go to our user bll.cs and here press enter and i'll type a shortcut um, to create getter and setter which is prop and press tap tap press tap twice so first one is here is public and then integer so our first getter and setter will be user id so and it will be an integer data so no need to change so click tab or press tab or go to this section and give a name which will be user underscore id and then enter and then again enter so it will come in the second line so let us look at our database architecture user id and then we have username and then email and password so for username it will be a varchar data type or string data type so it will be prop tab tab it will be a string and again press tab it will be username and then press enter again enter prop tab tab it will also be a string and uh, press tab what do we have next next is email so it will be email and enter and then again prop tab tab it will also be a string and then press tab it will be password and press enter and again let's take a look we have user id username email and password user id username email and password now we need to create full name and contact so press enter prop tap tap full name will also be of string data type and press tap again and it will be full underscore name and press enter another one will be uh, contacts contact will be also be a uh, string data type so it will be prop tap tap string and then contact and press enter and let's take a look at our server explorer contact and then address address will also be of string data type and added date will be of date data type and image name will be of string data type so let's create a getter and setter for address prop tap tap string and then press again tab it will be a 
address and press enter and another one a prop tap tap it will be of date time data type it will be added underscore date press enter and last one is image name let's take a look at our server explorer it will be image underscore name so prop tap tap and it will be image underscore name sorry we need to give the type not a name so it will be of string data type and image underscore name and press enter so that's it we have created getter and setter for all of our columns in database so this is our user uh, business logic layer so this is it guys we have successfully created user bll for our user module thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible in the next episode we'll create data access layer which will contain methods to insert update uh, delete and data for our user module so see you on the next episode bye bye